Yo, what's up guys? It's Kid Crayon and today I'm at Global Street Art and I'm going to be customising a fire extinguisher. The idea behind this is that we're going to be using Pintor Pilot Pens in order to customise different objects and I've chosen this bad boy today. Um, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to paint a luchador mask, uh, quite similar to Nacho Libre and um, I think that could look quite good on here. Uh, I'm not quite sure of the colour palette that I'm going to use, but I think red and blue go quite well together. So I want to definitely have some blue elements, maybe little bits of yellow as well coming through. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So my plan is that I'm going to have the front part, we're going to have a, the actual mask. And on the back, I'm going to have it laced up and then a little tiny bit of the head at the bottom. But hopefully, I mean, I haven't done it yet, obviously. It's just kind of the idea in my head, but hopefully it'll look pretty sick. <laughs> Okay, so we're at a midpoint now with this. So I know it doesn't look too great now, but as soon as the details start going on top of it, it's going to look a lot better. Um, what I've been doing is I've just been blocking it in with the pen, and I've also been blending some colours. That's been working quite well in this area where the eyes are, um, but I'm going to go a lot more in. The biggest challenge that I've found so far is just the curvature of the fire extinguisher so I'm trying to line line up these two lightning bolts and I'm kind of turning it one way then turning it the other it's quite difficult to line it up so my next step now is I'm going to get out a darker marker maybe a dark purple or a black and I'm just going to start putting in the little bits of details and then work in some more highlights and colour into each area so I watched Natural Libre and realized, uh, later found out there's actually a true story. And then I kind of decided to fall down this rabbit hole because I couldn't believe it. And um, discovered about the masks and how if you're a Mexican wrestler, you adapt a persona and you have a gimmick. And as soon as your mask's torn off, you have to get rid of it and start again. And I found that that was like a really cool concept. Uh, there was also a, a wrestler, Mexican wrestler called El Santos and he managed to keep his mask on for his whole career um, right up to when he died and um, I had thought that was kind of crazy this kind of hidden almost kind of superhero uh, slash villain um, yeah masks and yeah the, the more I've kind of researched about it the more I just want to paint these and yeah I've become a bit obsessed so yeah the, the best way to to do something like this is yeah you block in one color and then you want to kind of do like a darker tone and a lighter tone so I did my outlines and as you can see I've added a lighter tone like some highlights within the eyes and a darker tone around it for some shadow so that was kind of the details that I was talking about earlier uh, once I finished doing that I wanted to add this kind of pattern it's also to hide a little bit of spillage or a bit of smudging um, I think I've done it quite well so yeah it's just adding all these little details just to make it pop um, especially areas uh, where there's highlights because that's going to make the lips look a lot better. If you want to catch more Kid Crayon, all you have to do is just search for me over on Instagram and I also have a YouTube channel where I do similar things to this and some other crazy challenges. Big up!